Sometimes extinct creatures are the most interesting animals we can come up with. From T-Rexes to woolly mammoths, sometimes these creatures were amazing. However, the cool animals aren't all gone already. Here are 15 ancient creatures that are still alive. Diplocolis. Diplocolis only sort of count as there are arguments over whether or not they're still alive. However, they were too interesting not to include on this list. Though they're just random amphibian fish eaters, there's something more interesting about them as well. Their heads are boomerang shaped. They could be up to 60 pounds and three feet long and lived in rivers and lakes. Their body shape suggested they move quickly, possibly catching the small fish and insects they seem to eat. They were from so long ago that they were pre-dinosaurs. In fact, they're known to be some of the oldest amphibians that have ever been studied. They went extinct about 250 million years ago, or at least that's what some scientists say. We're pretty sure we know better. They were common in North America and Africa, and this is where some more recent sightings show up. There are pictures, such as the ones we show, that make it pretty clear that the extinction may not be the true death of this animal. Even with their boomerang heads, it looks like they didn't do much attacking, rather finding fish and bugs that came to them. So even if they do live now, it's more of an interesting factoid than anything we should be scared of. What do you think? Do Diplocolis still exist? And if they do, would you want one as a pet? Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Komodo dragon. Many people know about Komodo dragons, possibly our closest living relatives to dinosaurs, though they're not actually ones, but rather large lizards. They can grow to 10 feet long and weigh up to 200 pounds, so they're definitely the biggest lizards out there. Unlike the Diplocolis, they make us a bit worried. For example, they're known to cannibalize by eating the baby dragons. They can eat 80% of their body weight, so about 160 pounds. It could be worth pointing out that that's the weight of a child or a small adult. They're also venomous, not something common in lizards, but only more dangerous. The bite itself may not kill, but when the prey are trying to get away, the venom will kill, and then the Komodo dragon will come after its prey and eat them all the same. They can even take down water buffalo and wild boar. Their skin blends in with dirt, so they're able to lie in wait and then attack animals as they walk nearby, biting them with their powerful jaw. They also are well protected, as there are a number of small bones all around their body underneath the skin, which grow as they age, like tree rings. They become like armor and are part of the reason they're called dragons. However, we think they may be more like dragons than any other animal we know of. Now, just to find a species that breathes fire. <laughs> Red Panda Red pandas are an exciting animal from the past. Red pandas are the only true pandas, whereas giant pandas are actually types of bears. Red pandas used to eat meat back when they were ancient creatures, but experts think they simply realized that bamboo couldn't run away. They still have teeth ready to devour meat, though, perfect to rip or shred, as if they could start eating animals again at any moment. They eat 20 to 30 percent of their body weight each day, largely because their body was made to process meat and they can't get the same amount of energy from bamboo. Another thing they've evolved to do was climb down trees head first. They're one of a few known creatures able to do this, and their extremely flexible ankles helped with that. They're able to rotate their whole ankles 180 degrees. There are less than 10,000 red pandas in the wild, and they're sometimes killed for fur or kidnapped to use for pets. Experts confirm that they do not make good pets, and their habitats are also getting greatly lessened. When babies are born, they're very, very small, and their eyes don't even open for weeks, meaning that it's especially important for them to get closely watched and not helping their overall population. However, as red pandas get more and more attention, they're able to do a bit better. Let's keep them thriving. <laughs> Coelacanth. Coelacanth are fish with an interesting background. Up until a few years ago, they were thought to be extinct. In fact, they were thought to have gone extinct about 65 million years ago when dinosaurs went extinct. When the first one was found in 1938, it was thought to be the last one, or at least one of a few, but in the last century, two distinct species have been found, and 1938 was definitely not the last time. The person who found the fish said she had a hard time convincing a cab driver to take her home with a five-foot fish. Their color is not the only surprising thing about them. They have four fins that are more like limbs than most 
most fish that have been thought because of that to be one of the missing links between amphibians and fish. They also have a joint in their head that means their mouth can open much wider than it would regularly. The fish hunt using electricity, using it to navigate through the water and hunt. They also can grow up to 200 pounds and six and a half feet. In addition, they can live to be 60 years old. 82 more coelacanth have been found, but we hope not to be one of the people who find them. What about you? Mm -hmm. Horseshoe Crab Horseshoe crabs have been around longer than dinosaurs have. Some species have been around for 450 million years. They're actually more like ticks or spiders than crabs when studied. They have five sets of legs. For a total of 10, they have nine eyes. Their eyes perform slightly different tasks making their eyesight quite amazing. They can look rather dangerous with their hard shells and long tails, but the shell is for protection and the tail is mostly there to help them flip over when they get stuck on their back. The pinchers have no venom and they're of little risk to humans. They're also able to swim upside down. Some horseshoe crabs lay 100,000 eggs during the mating season. Most of their eggs are eaten before they can hatch and they're on the endangered species list. However, the reason they're on the list is more about human-caused habitat loss rather than their eggs being eaten. They are fully grown till age 10 and before they reach the age they often molt their exoskeletons and make new ones. They've also been good at helping scientists test vaccines so let's make sure these non-crabs stay around for a long time. <laughs> Nautilus Nautilus are sea creatures that have a hard exoskeleton and a soft inner body. They live in a shell which can be up to 10.6 inches long. Though they're related to octopi, they're thought to be nearly as smart. However, unlike octopi, they can live to be over 20 years old. They don't have the ability to lay eggs till 10 to 15 years old, and when they do, their eggs can take up to a year to hatch. They're able to float and sink purposefully by adding and removing water and ions from various chambers in their body. They're also able to move forward and backwards using jet propulsion by moving water around of their body at fast pace. They have up to 90 arms and track food with their sense of smell since their eyesight is practically useless. When they catch prey in their arms, their arms have a sticky substance keeping them trapped there. Some become slimy when caught so that they're too hard to be kept by their predators and can jet away when their predators try to bite into them. They can retreat entirely into the shell and cover it with a fleshy substance called a hood when animals are trying to eat them. Their other big risks, as five 500,000 were brought into the U.S. between 2005 and 2008. They're used for food and jewelry. Still, they're not considered endangered just yet. Hotsin Hotsin are often known as stink birds for their horrible smell. It's thought to be very far in the past that there are relationships between the Hotsin and other birds. They're entirely unique when looked at other species near them. There doesn't seem to be any. They're similar in size to the common pheasant. Their head has orange spiky long feathers on the top of their head. In fact, some people call them the punk rock birds. Their heads are blue with no feathers and their eyes are red, which also seems pretty punk rock. There are a number of different colors with black wings, red feathers, yellow tails and orange underneath their wings to add to their blue heads and red eyes. They live in the wetlands of South America and are the national bird of Guyana. They're often in small and large groups, suggesting they're social just like we are. They create a number of sounds that seem like communication and they hiss when people or animals get near their eggs or babies. When the babies are born, there are actually a number of birds watching out for them, some of them being the babies from the previous year who are too young to have their own babies. Surprisingly, they're actually not great flyers despite being birds and do mostly crashing through the trees or climbing. Sometimes we feel like we're not good at basic tasks as well. Do you relate to these birds? <laughs> Pig-nosed turtles. These turtles are 140 million years old, which is over 70 million years before dinosaurs. They're also known to live in both Australia and New Guinea, suggesting they date back to the time when these two areas were connected. Pig-nosed turtles are a bit different from land turtles as they have flippers mostly designed to help them through water. They don't actually swim underwater, but instead use their flippers to row. They live in fresh water rather than ocean-based turtles and generally only come to land to lay eggs. However, the parents abandon and the eggs as soon as they are put in the sand. Eggs are not born by turtles until they're 16 years old, unlike many other animal species. They're at risk because of humans. 80,000 turtles were found in 10 years to be illegally traded, not including the ones that weren't found, and there's intense risk to their waters from mining and logging. To live in shallow water near trees that could drop leaves or fruit, they have a shell that seems more leathery than hard like other turtle shells. Since these turtles are older than dinosaurs, we think that the soft shell isn't as much of a problem as it would seem. <laughs> 
Tuatara. Tuatara are lizard-like animals that are thought to be 200 million years old, much older than dinosaurs. While they're similar to lizards, they're not lizards, snakes, or dinosaurs, but seem to be what all those animals evolved from. They have a third eye on the top of their head, and not in any mythical sense, but an actual eye. They're over two and a half feet long and weigh a little under three pounds. They live in New Zealand, just inside the coast of the island, on woodland or grassland. They eat small insects like other reptiles. They have spines and scales of a green or gray color depending on the specific tutara. They shed their skin once per year, and the new skin isn't always the same color. However, they've been known to change hue of green or gray in order to hide in the area around them. They have nests where both the male and the female live. Some females can't have eggs until they're 20 years old, but this isn't so bad as they live to be over 100. They don't stop growing until the age 35. They're said to not make great pets with how rare they are, but if they weren't, would you want one? Selenodon. 30 million years ago, Selenodon were said to live all over North America. Now they only live on the islands of Cuba and Hispaniola. They have multicolored fur and a large snout, as well as a 10 inch long hairless scaly tail. They're thought to have branched off from similar animals in evolution about 76 million years ago. Their snouts are flexible, a bit like a shoulder joint, which helps them dig around for food in small crevices. They're also some of the only mammals that are known to be poisonous, and unlike platypus and other poisonous mammals that actively inject poison from their grooved teeth rather than happening to have it when they bite. They're nocturnal and live in places like caves or hollowed out logs during the day. Their eyesight is very bad, but their other senses make up for it. They run by moving on their toes and because of that are unable to jump. However, they still climb very well. Sometimes when pursued, they trip over their own toes or stay still and hide their tail, both of which behaviors make them easy to catch. In fact, we're not quite certain how they've lived so long. It could be because many prey have been introduced more recently rather than living with them long term. No matter what, they've lived at least 76 million years, so we think they'll be around a bit longer. Hmm. Monito del Monte Monito del Monte are also known as the little mountain monkeys. They're not actually monkeys, but marsupials similar to kangaroos. These animals also carry around their babies in a pouch. They've been around for at least 40 million years. They're only the size of a mouse and carry around their babies on their back even after they leave the pouch, after five months of living in the pouch. In addition, even after baby Monito del Monte are weaned, they still hang out with their parents. Their fur is gray on top and a dirty yellow underneath their bodies. They hang out in pairs during breeding season and are great at climbing trees. However, they sleep during the day on the forest floor, underneath rocks or fallen logs. They also get into hibernation when it gets cold. Their hearts go from 230 beats in a minute to lower than 30 beats a minute. When not hibernating, they communicate with sound. They eat mostly insects, but also fruit during the summer and a whole host of food when living in captivity. Monito del Monte are considered endangered and are the only animal known to spread the seeds of the mistletoe, suggesting they're a very important important part of the local ecosystem. They have 50 teeth, which is a quite a bit more than most other mammals. Still, they look a bit cuddly. <laughs> Amami rabbit. Amami rabbits are other animals known as living fossils. The remnants of rabbits from millions of years past, they and similar rabbits used to inhabit all of Asia. But now, Amami rabbits only live in small islands of Japan. They're quite a bit different than other rabbits. Their ears aren't long, they only have one baby at a time, and their fur is a dark brown. They're endangered, and it's largely because of human interaction. For one, we have led to great habitat decline. The other reason is a bit more complicated. Humans have introduced mongoose to the local habitat, where they weren't naturally. Mongoose eat the Amami rabbit and pose an even bigger threat than humans might just on their own. The addition of dogs and cats have caused similar problems, but not nearly to the same extent. In fact, the Amami rabbit is number 43 out of 100 of the most endangered animals in the world. There have been attempts to clone them, but it's unclear what the final reaction was to that. Scientists warn that even if they are able to clone the rabbits successfully, there's no clear studies on the long-term effect of keeping a cloned animal in the wild to repopulate and such with naturally born animals. In the end, it seems as if only time will tell what to expect for those animals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goblin shark. Goblin sharks are known for being some of the oddest sharks or even animals on earth. They have rows of teeth, a long, pointy nose, and a ghostly aura about them. They got their name based off of an old Japanese folktale after a long-nosed demon, and it seems to fit the creatures well. 
The biggest goblin shark found was over 12 and a half feet and weighed over 500 pounds, but it's quite possible they get bigger and we just haven't found them yet. It's hard to catch them how deep they are into the sea for more accurate measurements. One of the oddest facts about goblin sharks is that no one actually knows why they have that long odd nose. Some theories are that it possibly helps them find food in small gaps, while others say it could be to help them pick up electrical signals of prey the way that some other sharks do. They also have a very odd way of hunting coined slingshot feeding. Their jaw is on elastic ligaments and they can shove their mouth forward almost a tenth of their own body length at over 10 feet per second. This means they can move their whole jaw forward by multiple inches in less than a second. It's also able to move its mouth at a 110 degree angle. This helps make up for the fact that they're quite slow moving swimmers. We'd still be careful of them if we saw one in the wild. <laughs> Crocodile Crocodiles lived with dinosaurs but survived where the dinosaurs died. This means they're almost 250 million years old. They can be over 20 feet long and weigh more than a ton. They're in all inhabited continents except for Europe. Crocodiles are actually more like birds than other reptiles. Crocodiles do actually cry. The way they eat puts extra air into their tear ducts. This is where crocodile tears comes from. They're really crying, but they're not really sad. They're able to open their mouths underwater without swallowing too much water, and they can can live to be 70 years old. Crocodiles also have the strongest recorded bite of any animal. It's about eight times as strong as a lion. One of the most interesting facts in that crocodile eggs are laid on land. Then when the baby crocodiles make noise, the mothers carry them in their mouth to the water. They also are able to survive months between large meals. They often sleep with their mouths open because that's how they get heat out since they don't sweat. Crocodiles are often brought as being some of the scariest animals and we see why. They may not run fast, but they can accelerate and lunge quickly enough if you're not prepared. It'd be a good idea to stay away if you're around them. Aardvark Unlike what many people think, aardvarks aren't part of the class of anteaters, though they do eat ants. Their names roughly translate to earth pig, but they're not related to pigs either. They can weigh up to 180 pounds and be over six and a half feet long, if you include the tail. This doesn't include the fact that their tongue can be a foot long in it of itself. They burrow up to 42 feet as a place to stay. They live in many various habitats, but stay away from rocky areas where burrowing can be hard. During the day, they stay in their burrow so they can stay cool and at night they come out and hunt for ants. They travel around three miles a night in hopes of finding food. They eat up to 50,000 insects a night, mostly ants and termites. Their skin protects them from bites and their nostrils close so not to get any bugs up their nose. They also swallow all the insects whole. Babies are born one at a time and generally weigh less than four and a half pounds when they're first born. They stay with their mother for about six months before leaving and then they're ready to eat ants all on their own. We really like the aardvarks. As you can see, some pretty cool animals come from before the dinosaurs. We hope that you enjoyed learning about them, and we'd love to hear what your favorites are. Are there any cool animals we neglected to mention? Let us know below. Mm -hmm.